Vincent Kompany's Burnley side have now been promoted back to the Premier League and after signing a new long-term contract at the club, he has the challenge of surviving the Premier League's tough relegation battle. And while Kompany has been enjoying Burnley's promotion back to the Premier League, I have been off researching at Burnley's transfer news to compile a shortlist of potential Burnley signings for next season, so we're going to transform them into a realistic look for the next season's Premier League to see if Vincent Company can keep them in the top flight. So then guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. As you can see, we are here at Burnley and this is roughly how their team will look heading into the new Premier League season. We of course are looking to transform them and get them ready for the upcoming season under Vincent Company, where we'll be looking to do quite a lot of transfer business to make sure that this squad can stay in the top flight before simming to the end of the season. You've seen a list of the shortlisted players so let's crack on with our transfer business as we aim to keep Burnley in the top flight. So we're going to jump straight into the transfer business and my first few signings are actually going to be players who have been linked with the club and were here on loan last season. So Jordan Bayer or Jordan Bayer uh, from Borussia Mönchengladbach, I believe as of recording has actually signed on a permanent deal for Burnley. So we're going to do the same and bring him in along with a few of the other players who were at Turf Moor last season and helped us get back to the Premier League. So there it is, our first signing of the summer, and it is Jordan. I'm going to go with Bayer. I think it's Jordan Bayer. Uh, he joins from Borussia Mönchengladbach for four and three quarter million. And our second summer signing is also through the door. Jordan's partner at centre-back last year, Taylor Harwood Bellis, joins from Manchester City on a permanent deal. Partner Jordan, it's a good young centre-back partnership and we know that company likes developing these young players. So these two at centre-backs, although they may not be the highest rated at the moment, I think they'll do a good job at the heart of our defence. We have just completed our third signing of the summer and it's a former loanee. Ian Martson, who was at Turf Moor, as with Harwood Bellis last year, who's come in again initially on a loan for a year. And then we also have uh, a future fee of, I think, seven and a half million pounds for Martson, with Chilwell and Kukurea there, and Lewis Hall coming through from the academy as well. I think with Burnley being promoted, Ian Martson would want to go away and play first team Premier League football. So he comes in initially on a loan deal, but we have got that future fee in there for seven and a half million as well. Okay then guys, we've just completed two quick fire signings of two players that have been linked with Burnley in real life over the last couple of days as I'm recording this. The first one being Cody Drame of Leeds United. Of course, Leeds going down to the championship this year. And both Burnley and Luton Town, the club that he was on the loan at last year, have both been linked with the Leeds United fullback. We've picked him up for a pretty cut price deal of £2 million, so he will be joining us in the Premier League. And the second of those signings is another young man playing in the Championship, Han Noah Masengo, the Frenchman currently at Bristol City, joins us for a fee of £2.5 million. And he, again, like Cody Drame, has been linked with Burnley quite heavily from what I can see over the last couple of weeks. So him alongside Cody join up with the team and it's good to get those young players in. We know that Vincent Company likes to bleed the youth into the team and I'm sure he will do that next season in the Premier League. All right then guys, we've had our first couple of players depart the club as a young left back Owen Dodson has gone to Aruka on loan for a year and also Matty Loughton has left uh, now at 33 years of age. He has gone to retire in the lovely city of Lyon uh, going to play for the French side. So 1.4 million at the fee for Matt Loughton. And we've also loaned out another of our young defenders. CJ Egan Riley has gone to Estac Troyes for the season as well. Also heading out to France. Right, next up on our summer wish list, we've kept it pretty low key so far, signing players that have been at the club on loan or young players, but we've made our big first move of the summer with the big Georgian shot stopper from Valencia coming in. It's Georgie Mamardashvili for £25 million. The young Georgian 
joins us for the chance to play in the Premier League. And as I say, that is our first big move of the summer. I feel we needed to have just made another departure with Ashley Westwood heading to Leicester City to play at the King Power. At 32 years of age now, he isn't really going to see a huge amount of minutes, despite being a Burnley player for quite some time now. But he will drop back down to the Championship. We got a fee of 3.2 million from Leicester, so quite happy with that sale. All right, then, guys, we've actually just completed a double swoop of Southampton for Nathan Teller, who was here on loan last year, and also Kyle Walker Peters, in my opinion, way too good to be playing in the Championship. He's joined for 22 and a quarter million, while Nathan Teller joins for five and three quarter million. So, in total, a 28 million pound package deal for Carl Walker Peters and Nathan Teller. So another big deal has gone through here as Wout Veghorst has joined Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid for a deal worth £20 million. I don't see him staying at Burnley next year, so we had to get him off the books. But I do think we need to sign a new striker. We definitely do not have enough quality in the attacking position. And we have found our man to replace Wout Veghorst. It's somebody who Burnley have been linked with in real life. Mama Bald day of Estac Troyes who have been relegated from the top division in France. Uh, he joins for apparently a really bad fee of £7.5 million pounds, plus Jay Rodriguez heading the other direction. Rodriguez as with Matty Loughton heading out to France so Mama Balde is in as our new number nine. And guys, we have also just added a little bit more Premier League experience and quality in the form of Jack Harrison. Now, I'm quite happy with this one because I could see it going through in real life, potentially. Of course, Leeds going down and Harrison has been linked with a move away from Ellen Road previously to both Leicester City and West Ham United. So I could see this one going through. He's 25 years of age. And as I say, Burnley will need a little bit of Premier League know-how and experience coming up to the top flight this year, which they don't really have in their team. I think Jack Harrison to play on that left-hand side is a really good bit of business for just £11 million. Pounds. All right then, guys, we've made it to the first Premier League game of the season. We will sim through this one together. But once we get through the end of the transfer window, we're going to be simming first to January and then to the end of the season to see if company can keep Burnley in the Premier League. And there we have it guys, Vincent Company's Burnley have won their first game since returning back to the top flight. It's against fellow new boys Luton Town who get off to a losing start, but for Burnley, three points on the board to start the campaign and a winning goal for Mama Balde up top. Well guys, I'm quite excited about this transfer. It's one that I have seen a couple of rumours about since Fabio Cavallio has announced that it, it seems he will be leaving Liverpool in the summer. And I've seen a lot of rumours about him potentially coming to work under Vincent Company at Burnley. And in his 4-2-3-1 setup, playing in behind the striker, I could see Cavallio working really well there. He joins us from Liverpool for £10 million, and I think that is a really good bit of business. Like a lot of the deals we've seen already throughout this summer window, I could see potentially happening in real life. Well, guys, with Jay Rodriguez and Wout Veghorst both leaving, we do need a backup striker to Mame Balde. And I've seen this man linked to Burnley quite a lot in my research. George's Mikhail Tadzi is how I'm going to go with his pronunciation. He is another Georgian like Big Georgie in goal. And he has been linked quite a lot with Vincent Company's team. Born in 2000, the current Met striker has bagged 23 goals and 8 assists for the French side this season. And I think he'd actually be a really good signing in real life. He's not quite so good in FIFA at the moment. But as backup to Balde, I'm happy to bring him in. Another Georgian joins. And here we have a departure for Dara Costello, another youngster who's gone out on loan to the championship to play under Michael Carrick at Middlesbrough. Good to get these youngsters some first team football. So we've just had another one of our youngsters, Lewis Richardson, who is a striker, go out on loan to Cincinnati in the MLS for a year. 
All right then, guys, here is our big signing. It's Ezekiel Palacios of Bayer Leverkusen. And the reason I've gone for him is, number one, he will give us a lot more quality through that midfield. We may have slightly overpaid for him, but I didn't have a scout report. And with Bayer Leverkusen only playing at two in midfield and Granit Xhaka looking as if he could be on his way there, Ezekiel may be looking for some first-team football elsewhere. He will come in and be the highest earner at the club, but he brings a lot of quality and European experience with him. So Ezekiel Palacios will be our final signing of the summer. We'll close out deadline day and then see if company's summer transfer window will be enough to keep Burnley in the top division. With just an hour left on the clock, we have been able to loan out another of our young defenders, Luke McNally, heading to company's native Belgium to see out the remainder of the season but that will do it for the summer transfer window will this be enough to keep Burnley in the Premier League so we did actually have a couple of games between that Luton Town win we unfortunately lost 3-1 on the road at Selhurst Park to Crystal Palace but we did return with a 4-1 victory in the Carabao Cup against Northampton and then another three points on the board in the Premier League with a 2-0 Home victory to Deserby's Brighton. We're going to sim through all the way to the January transfer window and see how we're doing halfway through the season. Well, guys, I decided to sim all the way to the end of the season rather until January, and it seems like it was worth it. Really good season, I believe, for Vincent Company's Burnley. I believe we have survived an absolute canter. We've fallen off towards the end of the season but I think we've pretty comfortably survived in the Premier League. Well, it's a final day defeat to Chelsea, but we will stop the sim there to see where we did finish in the end in the Premier League. I think we'll be comfortably safe from relegation here. Ninth place. Do you know what? That's pretty good. I'm sure that Vincent Company and his side would take that on their return to the Premier League. 51 points, 21 clear of relegation and a really good season for Burnley. No European football. We're only, what, eight points off seven, but that is a really good season for us. This has been a really fun challenge. I think we did well in the transfer window with the players that we brought in. Let's go and take a look at how they got on. So Georgie, the big Georgian, grew by two ratings this season only kept the four clean sheets in the Premier League so if we were moving forward our defence would be something to consider but Georgie grew by two ratings and a good debut season for him. Ian Markson grew to 75 overall pretty solid season for the Dutch fullback and his loan will become a permanent next season. Bayer and Harwood Bellis both look like they did pretty well at the back as well uh, Bayer up by two as well as Harwood Bellis, Bayer to 76, Harwood Bellis to 75, so a centre-back partnership to build on moving forward. KWP was really solid at right back, he also grew by two ratings and is now 80 overall. A couple of the young lads, Cody Drame and Masengo, both growing by a rating as well, now 69 and 70 overall respectively. Jack Harrison looks like he had a really good debut year for Burnley, despite not growing a rating, 7 goals and 4 assists in 20 Premier Premier League appearances is pretty good for the Englishman and Nathan Teller on the other side he grew by a rating two goals and one assist for him only 17 appearances for Teller as for Ezekiel Palacios he looks like a really good signing eight goals and three assists in 31 Premier League games for the Argentinian up to 80 overall and definitely the heart of our midfield. Fabio Carvalho looks like he had a pretty decent debut year for Burnley as well. Only the two goals but eight assists grew by two ratings. Not too bad for Carvalho in his first season at the Clarets. And it looks like our signing of Mama Balde definitely signed off. Grew by one rating but 17 goals and one assist in the Premier League is a really, really good return. Uh, George's the Georgian also got uh, six goals in all competitions competitions three in the league uh, so really good to see our big money and number nine signing cropping up with the goals exactly what we wanted from Valde throughout this season but really good growth from the squad and a lot to build on if we were to go into the next season with this Burnley side 
All right then guys, I will quickly show you who won the European competitions in the save. Villarreal beat Fiorentina in the Europa Conference League final. Of course, in real life, the final will be West Ham against Fiorentina, but this time Villarreal coming out on top. The Europa League was won by Inter Milan beating Real Madrid. What a Europa League final that is. And the Champions League was won by Barcelona beating Liverpool by two goals to one so that will do it for today's video guys a little bit of a different one let me know if you did enjoy this challenge i would definitely be down to do this again with different teams so if you do have any recommendations then let me know a really solid season for vincent companies burnley returning to the premier league i hope you have enjoyed guys and i will catch you in the next video very soon peace